now denying New Mexico as a special kind of feel this time of year. Yeah, some might call it an eerie enchantment, especially in Los Lunas at a home that dates back to the 1800s. Our Hawker Vanguard introduces us to some spirits supposedly keeping an eye on the Luna Mansion. We have people that come here to see if they can experience something and we have people that come here to eat and have a great burger or a steak and run into, I mean, have an experience. In the heart of Valencia County, straight down Main Street in Los Lunas, you'll find what some call one of New Mexico's most haunted houses. The Luna Mansion is said to host a number of restless spirits, the ghost of a wealthy woman, a rough rider, and a little boy. The home is a landmark to the namesake of Los Lunas, with deep roots in territorial New Mexico. So in 1881, the railroad built this house for the Luna family. A trade with the mighty Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe for land so the railroad could lay tracks north towards Albuquerque. General Manager Farad Hemer says Josefita Manderfield married into the family in the 1900s, becoming the last member of a powerful dynasty to make a home in the mansion. Manderfield was, uh, uh, I believe, the daughter of the, the newspaper in Santa Fe. And she actually still lives here. A mysterious matron who Hemer says still purchase herself at the top of the staircase on what used to be her rocking chair. Have you ever experienced anything? Yes, I have. Some more scary than others. <laughs> but uh, the famous chair that's on top of the uh, stairs here, I've seen it rock once. And uh, it was kind of freaky uh, in a way that you could hear the wood versus the wood, the wood floors uh, making a lot of noise and you could tell there was some weight on it, on the chair. Legend says Josefita isn't the only one keeping an eye on the manor. Visitors are told to look out for a little boy. A gentleman customer went into the bathroom and uh, came out and asked the server, do you guys offer a shoe service, shoe, shoe shine service now? And obviously the server said, no, we don't. And Sure enough, the guy said, well, there's a little kid in the bathroom that asked me if he could uh, shine my shoes. This kid, there's three kids here. The, the, the little one is actually a, the grand, grandfather of a customer that comes here all the time, but he was a shoe shine kid. <laughs> Others say Maximiliano Luna can be found guarding the mansion, musket in hand. Hemer says a customer caught him on camera. That, that has happened. I've got other pictures uh, as well from customers that took a picture of their kids at the table and the reflection on the window, you could see Maximiliano with his gun. Believe him or not, Hemer says it appears Josefita, the little boy, and Maximiliano want visitors to know something. They, that's what it is. I mean, they want, to, they want you to know that they're here, you know. They, they, they belong here. They were raised and they lived here, so it's kind of like you're you're, you're getting into their space and they want to let you know that oh, it's not yours, it's mine. <laughs> With this eerie enchantment, I'm Hawker Vanguard. <laughs> KOB, Eyewitness News 4. The present day owners of the Luna Mansion really embrace the idea of having a few visitors living there. Their bar is actually called the Spirit Lounge. Really have embraced mm -hmm. it. Now listen, our eerie enchantments are not going to end here. Tomorrow night at 10, we will introduce you to Julia at the La Posada Hotel in Santa Fe, where a broken heart might be keeping the socialite stuck in her Victorian home.